We left for the execution chamber just before 7, after the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to move forward with Charles Warner's execution. I was one of 12 witnesses inside. We briefed the rest of the media afterward. When we got there, Warner was already in the execution room on a gurney, but the curtains were closed. Warner's mother and sister held on to each other, sobbing. The shades uh, were lifted at uh, 7.08 p.m. They gasped when they raised the curtains. They saw him with the IV. I mean, they were both very shocked, and that's when they began crying. Warner looked through the window at his family before he gave his last words. Quote, before I give my final statement, I'll tell you they poked me five times. It hurt. It feels like acid. I'm sorry for all the pain that was caused. I'm not a monster. I didn't do everything they said I did. He made that statement before they injected the drugs. At 7.10, the execution began, and they sedated Warner with midazolam. They waited longer to do a consciousness check? They waited about six minutes, then started the two other drugs, one to stop his breathing, the final drug to stop his heart. It appeared that the sedative worked. His head never raised off the no, table. No. About 7, 20, and 30 seconds, his breathing appeared to stop, as far as I could tell. The time of death was declared at 7, 28.